Hi, I'm Debbie from StampWithDeb.com and I am here this evening to show you how to make this adorable card. It's part of my thank you kit for my customers who placed a $50 order this month and it will go out to my team members as well. So um, let's get started. So the instructions are on my um, on my PDF for my team members. But, okay, so I started with this and it's 11 by five and a half. I scored at four and a quarter, seven inches, and nine and three quarters. And like I said, the papers that we're going to be using tonight, this is the Gilded Autumn paper, it's part of it. And um, very vanilla and early espresso. So those are the ones we're gonna do. Each of the DSP, pieces of DSP, has a coordinating piece of Whisper White that goes with it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is attach those two pieces together. So let's start with this one. This is our little one inch piece. And there will be an eighth of an inch trim going around. Let's get my silicone back here so we don't get glue everywhere and it also helps to be able to see a little bit better. Okay, and then this is my second piece. I'm going to use the other side of this. So, put a little green glue. And attach it to the pieces just an eighth of an inch larger all the way around will be like a sixteenth of an inch. And my third piece is this one, which is the largest piece of um, DSP. It's four, I'm not even gonna guess, it's too late in the day. <laughs> like I said, I'll put those measurements on the video screen so you can see them. Whoops, it doesn't go on that one, it goes on this one. And there we are. Okay, now we're gonna go back and attach those to this. So this is really a quick and simple card. It's just a little bit tricky. So this is our one inch piece and this is gonna go on the smallest section here on the one and one eighth inch section or one and a quarter, I'm sorry, inch section here. And I'm just gonna put it on this side Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to flip this over. That's the key. And we're going to put the next two panels. One goes on the second panel, and one goes on the fourth panel. And there's a way to check that. So you're going to fold this up, and you're going to see that. Fold this up, and you'll see that. And so that's where we're going with it. Okay, so let's put this one on our second panel. And then this one goes on the, the last panel over here on the left as I have it laying. Um, let me turn it this way. Let's see, make sure my flowers are going the right direction. Okay. So that folds up. Up. Oh, and there we are. Okay, then I'm going to take my ribbon, and this is the Early Express, oh, what are they calling it? Faux, faux suede. And I'm just gonna attach, first I'm gonna glue down my first panel. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this panel down, because that'll help me know where my ribbon's gonna go. So I'm gonna glue down the smallest panel to the next panel. Now I know where my ribbon is going. So I'm just going to put some adhesive here to hold my ribbon. Wrap that around. Just like so. Turn that off. Okay, now that panel 
is going to get glued to this under here. If you wrapped your ribbon around the paper panel here, the, the DSP panel, and didn't have it coming into the back, you could leave this open for a place to write. But I chose not to do that. Every time I did this card, I did that. <laughs> okay, and the next one is you're going to put just a, a line of adhesive right here on this edge. Um, you're going to have a card sliding in and out of here, so you want just a small line. Or you could put tearing tape along this edge, and that would hold it nice and strong. Okay. So we're going to set that aside, let it dry, and we'll finish up our, um, our goodies for the front. Okay, so for the next part, I used the Hippo and Friends dies, these two shapes, and I used the second and third um, and the smallest. And I just stamped with Cajun Craze. Cajun Craze. Um, and I'm just going to stamp a happy birthday on here. I Stamp Life is Better with You on that one, but this one I'm going to put Birthday Wishes. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere this to my vellum. Just like that. And then let's put this away before I put my hand in it. And then I'm going to attach this to the front of my card. Okay, so you should have three leaves punched if you did the kit, and if you didn't, this comes with the bundle. These punches do. It's an oak leaf, an acorn, and another leaf. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so I'm going to punch two of those. The bundle is the three leaves with the stamp set. Uh, I mean the three punches with the stamp set. So I am going to go back and just pull this up a little bit. It comes up really easily. And I'm going to slip these three leaves underneath here. I think I have enough glue on there to stick that down. Okay. And then I'm going to attach this to the front of my card with dimensionals, and I want to make sure that my dimensionals are not going to show. So I'm going to put them on the white part here instead of um, going all the way up to the edges. And I'm just going to attach that to my card base, or to my card front. It is all together already. And just like there. Okay, then for the inside, there is a piece of Very Vanilla and Early Espresso, and I'm going to stamp a little something for you on the inside. In the Espresso. down there. Okay. All right, and then let's just attach this to the early espresso. The green glue on there. That one's hard to see. Okay, and that just slips right in here. So the card goes together really easily. It's just a little tricky on the fold, 
Um, let me just tie a bow and we'll all be all done. Now you could put some embellishments on it and stuff like that. Um, some rhinestones or some um, other gems. that with a glue dot. And we are good to go. There we are. Okay, thank you. I hope that you enjoyed this. If there's anything that you need, please don't hesitate to let me know. You can contact me through stampwithdeb.com. And I thank you for watching.